SpaceX engineers are stunned by what they found inside Booster 13. This rocket wasn't supposed to survive. It crashed into the Gulf of Mexico, sank to the ocean floor, and sat there for weeks. Yet when they pulled it up with a 102-meter crane, 33 Raptor engines were still perfectly attached and critical systems remained intact. But here's the million-dollar question. Why would SpaceX spend a fortune recovering space junk? The shocking answer will change everything you think you know about rocket recovery. Let's dive right in. November 19th, 2024, the date that rewrote SpaceX's entire approach to rocket recovery. Booster 13 wasn't supposed to survive. It was programmed to crash and sink like every booster before it. But something extraordinary happened that day. Instead of exploding on impact or disappearing beneath the waves in minutes, this 230-foot-tall metal giant floated for hours. Engineers watched in disbelief as their expendable rocket bobbed in the Gulf of Mexico like a massive steel cork, refusing to die. Why was this different? Every previous Starship booster had either blown up spectacularly or sank within minutes. Booster 13 broke that pattern completely. Picture this a 33-story building-sized rocket weighing over 3,000 tons when empty, somehow staying afloat in rough ocean waters. The physics alone should have made this impossible. When SpaceX's recovery team arrived at the crash site, they found something that defied every engineering prediction. The entire aft section remained intact, not damaged, not crumpled, but perfectly preserved. All 33 Raptor engines were still firmly attached, their million-dollar components untouched by the violent impact. But here's what shocked engineers most. The liquid oxygen tank hadn't ruptured. This massive fuel chamber, designed to contain supercooled propellants at extreme pressures, had survived a crash that should have torn it apart like tissue paper. How is this even possible? The answer lies in a design decision that SpaceX never publicly discussed. Deep inside Booster 13's wreckage, Engineers discovered the smoking gun, literally. Advanced ice filtration systems that had been completely redesigned in secret, representing months of hidden development work. Here's the terrifying backstory. During earlier Starship flights, SpaceX faced a nightmare scenario that nearly ended the entire program. Critical engine valves were getting clogged by microscopic ice particles, tiny frozen chunks that could accumulate and completely shut down the rocket's control systems in seconds. One block valve meant total loss of vehicle control. No steering, no landing capability, no hope of recovery. The rocket would tumble out of control and explode. The solution was revolutionary. SpaceX developed what they internally call ice catchers, sophisticated filtration systems that hunt down and destroy these deadly particles before they can cause catastrophic failure. But they didn't stop there. They installed redundant parallel valves throughout the entire engine bay. If one system fails, backup systems immediately take over. It's like having a spare parachute for your spare parachute. But why keep this technology secret? Because it represents a $50 billion competitive advantage that no other rocket company has figured out yet. When SpaceX deployed the LB Jill, their 102-meter-tall crane ship, industry insiders called it the most expensive fishing expedition in history. The operation cost more than some countries' entire space budgets. Was SpaceX crazy to spend this much on space junk? The official story, research and development. They wanted to study how their systems performed under real crash conditions, analyze material fatigue, and understand structural integrity after ocean exposure. Intelligence sources reveal three classified reasons that made this recovery mission absolutely critical. First, the China factor. With tensions rising in the Pacific, SpaceX couldn't risk their most advanced rocket technology falling into foreign hands. The Raptor engines contained proprietary metallurgy secrets worth tens of billions in development costs. Any nation that reverse-engineered these systems could leapfrog decades of rocket development overnight. Second, the AI Connection job postings reveal SpaceX is building an artificial intelligence team specifically for rocket operations. But AI systems need real failure data to learn how to prevent future disasters. Booster 13's crash sequence provided exactly that. 
irreplaceable training data worth more than the recovery mission itself. Third, the Mars timeline. Every lesson learned from this recovery directly impacts SpaceX's Mars timeline. The same ice filtration systems that survived the crash are critical for Mars missions, where repair isn't an option and failure means death. But there's a fourth reason that changes everything. While engineers analyzed Booster 13's wreckage, SpaceX dropped a bombshell that sent shockwaves through the aerospace industry. They unveiled Raptor 3, an engine so advanced that competitors initially thought it was fake. The transformation is mind-blowing. Remember the flying spaghetti monster? Raptor 1 with its rat's nest of cables and external components? Raptor 3 looks like it came from an alien civilization. It's stripped down to the absolute essentials, with integrated cooling systems and 3D-printed internal channels that eliminate hundreds of potential failure points. The numbers are staggering. 280 tons of thrust, 30% more than the original. 350 seconds of specific impulse, approaching space shuttle efficiency, 1,530 kilograms engine weight, 400 kilograms lighter than before. But here's the connection nobody saw coming. The data from Booster 13's ice filtration systems directly influenced Raptor 3's design. Those ice catchers that survived the crash, they're now integrated directly into the engine itself. This means Raptor 3 can operate in conditions that would destroy any other rocket engine on Earth. SpaceX didn't just improve the engine. They revolutionized how it's built. Using the world's most advanced 3D metal printing technology, they've eliminated thousands of individual parts by integrating them into single components. The result? What looks like simple pipes actually contain complex internal networks of cooling channels, fuel lines, and sensor pathways. It's like having a circulatory system hidden inside solid metal. But there's a catch. These engines are so integrated that if something breaks, you have to cut them open with power tools. There are no access panels, no removable components. It's either perfect or destroyed. This is the aerospace equivalent of performing brain surgery through the patient's nose. When Tori Bruno, CEO of United Launch Alliance, first saw Raptor 3 photos, he publicly stated it couldn't be real. It looked too advanced to actually work. Other rocket companies are now years behind in development. Blue Origin's BE-4 engine produces 550,000 pounds of thrust. Impressive until you realize Raptor 3 generates 560,000 pounds while being significantly lighter and more efficient. The gap is widening, not closing. While competitors struggle to build engines that work reliably, SpaceX is already planning engines that think for themselves. Here's where science fiction becomes reality. SpaceX's new AI systems will enable rockets to make split-second decisions without human input. In deep space, where communication delays can be 24 minutes each way, these systems will literally keep astronauts alive. The recovered Booster 13 data is training these AI systems right now. Every failed valve, every ice blockage, every system malfunction becomes a learning opportunity for artificial intelligence that will pilot missions to Mars. But the most shocking revelation is still coming. After Starship Flight 7's spectacular explosion, Elon Musk dropped a hint that shattered every assumption about Starship's future. He casually mentioned that SpaceX would probably increase Starship's diameter after just a 10-meter height increase. Translation, Starship Block 3 will be a completely different rocket. We're talking about a 12-meter-wide monster with 42 Raptor 3 engines producing 11,760 tons of thrust, three times more powerful than the Saturn V that took humans to the moon. This isn't just evolution, it's revolution. Block 3 Starship could carry 300 tons to orbit while being fully reusable. To put that in perspective, that's equivalent to launching five space shuttles simultaneously. While engineers dissected Booster 13's secrets, SpaceX proved their technology works by safely returning four astronauts from the International Space Station. The mission included Peggy Whitson, America's most experienced astronaut with 695 days in space. The connection most people miss? The same engineering principles that enabled Crew Dragon's flawless splashdown are being applied to Starship development. Every lesson from the booster recovery improves the safety systems that will eventually carry humans to Mars. But there's still one more secret hidden in that wreckage. SpaceX's official environmental assessment 
states they must recover any large floating debris. This sounds like bureaucratic compliance until you realize what debris actually means. That debris contains technology worth more than some countries' GDP. Advanced metallurgy, proprietary cooling systems, AI training data, and manufacturing techniques that took decades to develop. Leaving it on the ocean floor would be like throwing away the recipe for Coca-Cola. Reuters revealed that SpaceX is secretly negotiating with Australia to land starships off their coast and tow them back to port. This isn't just about recovery, it's about establishing the world's third starbase. Why Australia? Because with rising tensions in the Pacific, the United States needs allied launch capabilities. Australia represents a strategic backup for Mars missions if Starbase or Cape Canaveral become unavailable. The implications are staggering. Upside-down rocket catches, southern hemisphere launch windows, and redundant manufacturing capabilities that make SpaceX virtually unstoppable. Every piece of technology recovered from Booster 13 directly accelerates SpaceX's Mars timeline. The ice filtration systems, AI training data, structural analysis, and manufacturing improvements all feed into the same goal, making humans a multi-planetary species. But here's what Elon Musk hasn't told anyone. The lessons learned from this one crashed booster have advanced Mars mission capabilities by at least two years. Technology that would have taken decades to develop through testing was validated in a single dramatic ocean recovery. The crash that should have been a failure became SpaceX's greatest success. As engineers continue analyzing Booster 13's remains, one question haunts the aerospace industry. What other secrets are hidden in that wreckage that SpaceX hasn't revealed yet? The answer to that question will determine whether SpaceX reaches Mars in this decade or if their competitors even survive long enough to try. The shocking truth. So here's what we've uncovered. SpaceX didn't just recover space junk. They salvaged the blueprint for humanity's future. Every ice filtration system, every AI data point, every structural revelation from Booster 13 is now accelerating our path to Mars. But this is just the beginning. With Block 3 Starship promising 42 engines and Mars-level capabilities, we're witnessing the birth of technologies that will define the next century of space exploration. The real question isn't whether SpaceX will reach Mars. It's whether we're ready for what they'll discover when they get there. What do you think SpaceX found in that wreckage that they're not telling us? And could this recovery mission have revealed something even more game-changing than we realize? Drop your theories below because the biggest revelations might still be coming. The future of space exploration just got a lot more interesting. SpaceX just shocked everyone by revealing Vast's gravity station that will destroy the ISS. While NASA's $400 billion space station is literally falling apart with air leaks, this unknown company is building something 42% bigger with artificial gravity. No government funding, no delays, just pure genius. How are they moving faster than billion-dollar NASA projects? What makes this gravity technology so revolutionary? Let's dive right in. Right now, as you're reading this, the International Space Station is literally disintegrating 250 miles above our heads. October 9th, 2023, a catastrophic coolant leak erupts from the Russian Nauka module. Engineers watch helplessly as their $150 billion masterpiece bleeds to death in the vacuum of space. But that's not even the worst part. The Zvezda module has been hemorrhaging precious air since 2019. Every day, astronauts wake up to dropping pressure readings and the terrifying reality that their safe haven is slowly suffocating them. When Elon Musk, the man who literally revolutionized spaceflight, publicly declares that the ISS should be destroyed within two years, you know we're facing an unprecedented crisis. But here's what NASA doesn't want you to know. While they're paralyzed by bureaucracy and throwing taxpayer billions at failing contractors, a mysterious crypto billionaire has been quietly building humanity's next orbital home. And it's so advanced, so revolutionary, that when SpaceX revealed the partnership, it sent shockwaves through the entire aerospace industry. Meet Jed McCaleb, 
a name you've probably never heard, but a man who's about to reshape human civilization. This isn't some Silicon Valley dreamer with PowerPoint presentations. McCaleb co-founded Ripple, sold it for billions, and now he's pointing that same disruptive genius at the one industry that's been stuck in the Stone Age for decades, space stations. While Blue Origin burns through Jeff Bezos' money with nothing to show for it, and while Sierra Space talks big about inflatable modules that exist only in computer simulations, McCaleb's company, Vast, has actual hardware passing NASA's most brutal tests. But why would a crypto billionaire risk everything on space stations? The answer reveals a vision so audacious, so perfectly timed, that it makes every government space program look like amateur hour. McCaleb sees what others miss. The ISS crisis isn't just an ending. It's the greatest business opportunity in human history. Picture this. You're floating inside what feels like a luxury apartment designed by Apple's former architects. Haven One isn't just bigger than existing modules. It's fundamentally different. At 4.4 meters wide and 10.1 meters tall, this 14-ton marble packs 45 cubic meters of living space into a package that makes the ISS look like a cramped submarine from the 1990s. But here's the twist that nobody saw coming. Haven One doesn't work alone. When SpaceX's Dragon capsule docks, it doesn't just sit there like a taxi waiting to go home. It transforms into a second module, doubling the station's capabilities. Four astronauts can live and work here for 30 days, conducting experiments in conditions that would make ISS crew members weep with envy. February 2024, NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center runs a secret test that changes everything. They pressurize Haven 1 to 1.8 times normal atmospheric pressure, a stress level that would crack most spacecraft like an eggshell. Haven 1 doesn't even flinch. That's the moment NASA realizes they're dealing with technology that's decades ahead of anything they've ever seen. But this is just the opening act. Vast's real masterpiece is so revolutionary, so impossible, that when they first announced it, aerospace experts accused them of science fiction fantasy. May 2023, the announcement that sent every space contractor into panic mode. While NASA's chosen companies were still arguing over basic designs, VAST and SpaceX revealed a partnership that changed the entire game.